Yeah, I've been looking for that song for a while. I'm glad I found it. I had to stop for a minute and write it down. Uh, that's why it took me a minute to... Uh, now, wait a... Wait a... Just a darn minute here. What's going on? All right, there's camera one. Why does it not want to pick up Zoom? Where is Zoom? Right there. Hmm. Okay. All right. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's see. These are the problems with live radio, ladies and gentlemen. I believe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can hear you, Yona. Uh, we just can't see you yet. I'm not not quite sure uh, what happened. Oh, no, not that. We want that, oh, but we no, don't there, want I, it to I, do I that. I saw a little bit there for a second yeah i don't know why it's doing that though i like that effect though i mean so long as you can hear me hey woo, woo. yeah i mean oh, we can cool. we can hear you but it's not supposed to be doing that i don't know <laughs> why it is doing that and it's uh bugging the hell out of me it's all good folks remain calm to find out more fuck around yeah I mean, that's what happens. It's about that time. Y- y'all ready to get fact harder? <laughs> oh. Boom. Boom. On the fly. That, that's what takes break the spell right there. Buddy. Bam. I even did homework for this one. I, I came with clips and everything. Yeah, I tell you what. It's some music there... and it's an audio visual multimedia super extravaganza. Y'all ready to get royally baked on this super duper weed squinox special? That's right. There is crazy energy running around on this Skull and Bones Eve, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, good Lord. Here we are. Mercury doesn't even go retrograde for like another 10 days. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At, at, at best of all, how better, what, what better way to get royally baked? Then to go head first into some deep Kate edition. But uh, 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 not yet. Slow down, constituents of Rochdale. I mean, this is not the mother of all You've got talk my mouth shows. watering That's that already. That's George Galloway guy that rolls his R. Oh, yeah. R- he, he blocked us R- on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, I got to hand it to George Galloway. At least he talks about the murder of the Palestinians. Somebody got to speak up for them people. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, somebody is going to have to speak up for the Israelis because uh, Elon Levy got that old Apollo Theater sheep hook and yip, right, yanked his ass right off stage. Oh, yeah? Took the mic from his hand, man. You know what I'm saying? He kept putting out these tweets and videos every day about, well, they've got 20 bakeries in Gaza and they're all eating like kings and queens. They're having feasts every day. and Meanwhile, you know, they're all starving to fucking death. And I guess it was just so over the top that, um, no, that's right. It was that lady on, was it Sky or BBC? Uh, one of them British See, hey, that, that actually has to do with tonight. It, when he was trying to bullshit one of these British oh, chicks. Yeah. Um, what, what do you call Let me use the right word here. Third? No, uh, anchor woman. There you go, Will Ferrell. News model. Um, And she was pushing back and pushing back and pushing back and then just finally ended the interview. Oh, wow. Cut him off. uh, Because she's like, nah, that's just completely a fabrication. You know, using all the polite Scrabble words for you're lying, motherfucker. Uh, But anyway, and after that little, um, uh, I'm going to characterize it as a tussle. Like like when Muhammad Ali tussled with a whale, um, right? But verbally, and, uh, after that tussling on the British media's, um, huh. Elon Levy. Do you pay extra for that? 
too bad because you know Israel has a right to defend itself from people that don't agree with genocide. I suppose I don't know. I try not to get in the middle of that argument personally. I try to stay as far away from it as possible because I recognize it for what it is, uh, which is a tar baby. That's right. It's once once you get into it, you're never going to get out of it. Like there, it, not not without leaving behind a piece of yourself. So I just, I, I can explain yeah. it through marijuana. You see, Asia Minor used to be known for Kush. Ooh, not even six but then minutes Israel in, moved and I think in. I already got us yanked from YouTube. And now it's known as the Mids East. Third Israel week in a row now. is the Mids East. It's not Bud. It's not Waterleaf. It's not Shake. It's Mids. Mids East. Well, you know, like when you're building a brand new dock and causeway out into the ocean with um, freshly dropped rubble from apartment buildings that still have like arms and skulls in them and you just drop them in the water it's going to be great man you know what I'm saying we, we couldn't get any help or assistance or rescue equipment or anything to Gaza but in less than 14 hours the United States had the bulldozers and the dump trucks and everything right there on the beach and there they are steadily building the fuck out of that humanitarian dock that's apparently being financed by um you know people are always arguing is it Qatar or Qatar Cutter. I'm going to say Quatar how Cutter. about that Quatar I I'm I'm going a third way I don't have to be Republican or Democrat you hear that Yona brothers and sisters fuck your false dichotomy Right on. I had to well, Yona, to they tried. They tried today, dropping man. the humanitarian aid uh, on the land, but the people just kept standing underneath of it. Right. So they had to solve that problem. So they, Joe Biden, solved that problem. Now we're gonna drop it out in the ocean, and we're gonna build a fucking uh, rickety platform, so That's y'all right. can fucking go out there and try to get it. That's right. It's genius. They, they should, it's you know, you know what genius. they should call that uh, dock that the United States and Dude, um, think about how many, are building. Think about how many jobs that's going to create, right? Think about how much money that's going to cost the American taxpayers. I think since the taxpayers of it's the brilliant. United States, it's fucking America, brilliant. Since they're financing this new um, dock that's going into the Mediterranean Sea just a few nautical miles east of where the United States ship Liberty GTR-5 was attacked, and we lost um, 34 United States sailors, and uh, I think over 160 were wounded. Anyways, why not call this new port? Even after they flew the The USS Liberty Port. Or Port Liberty. I mean, it's, it's Port the Liberty. Closest, there you go. It's that's literally the that's, closest thing in the water to that where is those genius. Put a US fucking bow on that shit. Uh, we will Israel. fucking will offer it to Washington with a five million dollar price tag for the the whole damn marketing package. That is fucking Fuck genius, yeah, my man. friend. Port Liberty. Yep. There's your freedom, Palestinians, and we can honor the deaths of those U.S. sailors that Israel murdered in cold blood because. I totally forgot about it. That's right. And we can grift off of it too because yeah. you know, we're Liberty Radio. Shout out to um, Commanding Officer Captain McGonagall. What's up, homie? Anyway. God damn, there's McGonagalls everywhere, man. Everywhere I look, there's fucking McGonagalls. I don't understand it. It's the most bizarre phenomenon. Good Lord, would you look at the crowd and the chat? I don't think it's ever been this busy. We're, oh, we're stop looking at the chat. Right? You'll psych yourself out. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, let's get to let's get to what the people came here for, right? Because uh, they 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 paid good money for this. Where are we going? Boom! Boom! Yeah, Kate Boom. Middleton, three suspended over medical breach as Archbishop warns over conspiracy theories. That's right, you dirty thought criminals. 
And this comes to us from no less authority than the independent over there in the UK. And this is as of three hours ago, ladies and gentlemen. So fresh off the presses uh, or (laughs) meat grinder or whatever it is that they use to uh, make news these days. Breaking news from across the pond. There you go. In dear old blighty land. So three people have been suspended for allegedly accessing the Princess of Wales medical records while she was undergoing abdominal surgery. That's right. I actually, I did research on this. Apparently, uh, she announced she was going to have abdominal surgery back in January, but she uh, did not say why, which of course is uh, very, very strange. I tend to think she was getting her tubes tied and something went wrong, but yep, that's my theory. Uh, so they could potentially face disciplinary action for any breach of data and may be charged with a criminal offense by the data protection watchdog and face an unlimited fine if they are found to have unlawfully accessed her records. Oh my goodness. I didn't think they had HIPAA over there in uh, they don't. Britain. So, they don't. They they don't really have a healthcare system either. All they have is the NHS, which is the national health system. But don't let it fool you. It's mainly a wall, kind of like a, a Wall Street thing. But no, City of London liquidation team because they just go around all of the United Kingdom, closing hospitals and clinics left and right. Um, yeah, that's oh, pretty good much for it. Them. And then laying off nurses and stuff, and wait times are just. Yeah, yeah, I better not get started on the NHS. Yeah, everybody oh needs a hobby. What a shit show. So, good news, Yona. Good news. The King's personal data was not compromised uh, during this oh. alleged data breach at the London Clinic. According, God save the King. According to the Daily Mirror. Chucky, right? the sausage It's not fingers. me saying that. That's the Daily Mirror saying that, folks. Whew. All right? Just so you know. Big sigh of relief. Uh, meanwhile. Denzel, Denzel meme. Yeah. Oh. Meanwhile, Yona, uh, Justin Welby, you know who that is, right? Yes. The Archbishop of Canterbury. He he's warned, the most he's yeah. the most powerful person in the United Kingdom. He okay. is the literal fucking king maker, Colonel Drizzle. Oh, oh he is oh, the guy right. that put the crown on Chucky the Sausage gotcha. Fingers little greasy head. Well, uh, he wants you to know that you are becoming obsessed with conspiracy, Yona. And uh, yes. he is criticizing everyone who is speculating on the princess's health right now. He says, we have little sense of the humanity of those who are caught in the glare of the news. It does not oh. matter who it is. People should be allowed to be ill. <laughs> okay, Mike D. <laughs> yeah. Have an operation, whatever it is, and to live their lives in peace without everyone demanding that they prove something every other day. Well, okay, Justin, how about you not shove your fucking weddings and coronations and all that other shit in our face every time you go to do that shit? Uh, can we work yeah. out a deal? Is this something? Can we come to the table and, and put a deal together on this, Justin? And, and so the best part of this is the Yona has a music video, a song where I help write the lyrics with um, Dr. Kingsley Dennis of Manchester, England, and did the piano part, and then dead fella came in and did some uh, guitar parts, bass, and rhythm, and lead, all this other stuff. And then I put together the uh, video. The video showcases the city of Canterbury, England, and the cathedral at Canterbury, where um, uh, all the kings and queens have been coronated for, uh, oh, I don't know, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fucking years. It's like uh, far back the in church in Canterbury, can England, is the trace. oldest church in England. I mean, it's like the holiest yeah. ground in England. So, and then of course, then you see Justin Welby pimping around, and there's like paparazzi following him everywhere. So, I can totally understand 
why he would say that. It's a, it's so unfair when you're a royal and and people are always looking at your balcony waiting for you to come out and wave to the crowd. So much pressure. It's so unfair. Yeah, I know, man. It's a rough life. Tiniest violin in the world, buddy. Yeah. It's it's a very hard way to make a living, Yona. Yeah. Yeah, we, but we luckily they are well compensated uh, for, for being these royal. fucking reptiles. We really should. They are well compensated, though. You know, it's yeah. a lot of mental anguish to be under the leering eyes and scrutiny of the public and the media drizzle. But when you own literally hundreds of thousands of fucking acres of land all around the world and your financial worth as a royal family is in the trillions of dollars it, you know it's it, it's a give and take it's a give and take well you know my my heart goes out to those folks that are now probably going to be prosecuted because they decide to jump on the current thing because they were in a position to know something that other people weren't uh you might want to check the law before you do that next time folks the sad uh, thing is they don't they don't my younger brother examples today. out of us he, my younger brother today, literally echoplexed Justin Welby and about 12 different canned responses from the Central Intelligence Agency. But what did it for me? Calling me a truther and all that stuff, you know, hey, I, I'll take that as a merit badge. I'm trying to make Eagle Scout, you know what I'm saying? But when he said, yeah. you're obsessed with conspiracy, I shit you not. He's like, you know, you just constant conspiracy theory. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stop you there. I was like, do you know the origination, the etymology, that that turn of phrase conspiracy? Do you know where that comes from? Because I literally have a fucking music video. Oh, where so you started getting the buddy of mine, on him. MC Rich to the G, A.K. Richard right. Grove, breaks that shit down to the smallest compound I'm like Walter to see White and RV in the desert. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I tell him, I'm like, you know, our own mother was interviewed by the Secret Service and the FBI just for being three blocks away from the Kennedy assassination. And, you know, John Taylor Gatto's roommate wrote this book questioning the Warren report, you know, the Warren Commission's report on the Kennedy assassination, which was just an open and shut. It, it was Oswald and then Ruby killed him. And ah, all loose ends tied up. Okay, next. And he was like, that's bullshit. And so the CIA, there's there's a memo that Rich names by number where they say, we're going to create this pejorative term to blacklist and blackball people with. As Yeah, as people that question the Warren Commission report. Um, we're going to use it to smear them in public. And so when I get done explaining that to him, he says, Oh, well, I'll never use the term conspiracy theory around you ever again because that's obviously a trigger word and you've just completely melted like a snowflake over that. I was like, okay, sure thing. I, I've melted to the point I'm completely moist. And he said, well, you know, I, I talked uh, to Marge, it's our, older, our, our oldest mm -hmm. sister. You know, I talked to Marge and Tony about you and, uh, you know, that, that's why they don't talk to you, because they know you've not gotten your vaccine. You're not going to vote for Biden. And I, you know, I thought I would reach out and try to help you. And um, I was like, well, help you do what? I, 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 I can tell you now, once and for all, who I'm voting for this November. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not voting. Well, you're guaranteeing Trump then. Well, all right then, all brother. Right then. Make America great again. And he hung up on me, and then I could finally block him. Because you can't block him while you're talking to him. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I guess not. I, I haven't tried that yet, though. I'll have to give that a try. It would take so much deep programming. But he did tell me about, like... Um, well, he listens to Tim Cast. He did know about Beanie Boy. Huh. Big fan of Tim Pool, and he still listens to David Dole and Mike Figueredo. And what's up, Johnsons? That's right. 
Tim Black. I think? have no idea who any of those names are. Oh, they, these Probably are all um, these are all um, mixtures of Kool Aid and douche, uh, li liberal. Yeah, you know, like Tom Hart, big picture with Tom Hartman. No, ah, uh, no, nothing. Yeah. Don't know him. Nope. So did did you all you know, at least get a little bit of time to talk about Kate? No, um, no. it started out with the Constitution again. I think I'm getting obsessed with it. Because I brought up the Constitution, and you know, I was like, freedoms and liberties are not a bad thing. Wait, you you know, our what? Constitution limits the government, and that's when he was like, "Oh my God, you're such an extremist. You're such a traitor." There's no well, way the to media, read the the news has been telling him about people like you. You know, so he knows to be on the lookout. Well, I mean, that's why he reached out to me to begin with, because he's like, "Oh my God." It's the Ohio primary. Now I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to just bite my, just grit my teeth and call my oldest brother, Yona, and get his ass to the polls to vote for Biden. <laughs> and uh, well, I thought that was well, how you were going to go anyway. Oh, like I thought you were down like with the, the whole Hunter Biden lifestyle thing, you know, but the drugs and bitches. I just realized and... today is Thursday, right? And that was Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. And we after always I do got this off on the Thursday. phone with him, I ended up smoking about three grams of weed in three hours. Damn. Oh, and then the polls closed. Oops. Don't you hate it when that happens? Oops. I was going to go and vote, but then I got high. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I guess I ain't black, Grizzle. Yeah. There you go. Uh, we played. We played some uh, Afro Man early in the pre-show, before you showed up. Hot boxing. Shout out. We to was my hot boxing. Neighbor, Afro Man himself, who lives uh, just down the Ohio River from here, about a twenty-five minute drive, over in historic West Union, Ohio. Um, in fact, the police kicked in his door. That's right, they did. Uh, and he, he wrote a song all about around it. his house, and he used the footage of the police That's kicking right. in his door That's right. to make and a video. One of, one of the motherfuckers um, the uh, ate some was, of his uh, damn pound cake. The, the police are going to replace my door or something. Um, and then they sued him over that video and mm -hmm. said it caused them yep. emotional pain and distress That's right. for having them in trauma. that video footage. It caused that them he trauma. With his own camera when they were illegally attacked. kick in his property. door. That's right. And they took his weed. Fortunately, he found more. <laughs> well, that's a good thing about Ohio. There's a lot of weed in Ohio. I know oh, that yeah, for a fact. Um, well, i put it this way. It, you know, in the middle of Ohio, the word itself, oh, hi. That's right. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, you know, they grow a lot of things in Ohio. Like you can, you, I, I guarantee, Yona, you know people in Ohio that grow plants in their yard, like on purpose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we've got all these national forests, too. That's right. Anywho. Yeah, because it's just on the other two, side Paul of the Harvey. mountains. Yeah. Um, Very fertile ground. <laughs> The the next um, corresponsal gonzo journalism piece we've got to work on is the one that I filmed by the musky bucket, the bucket named Musky, the big fucking strip mining bucket. I want to say it was called the Jesse Owens State Park. That would be perfect. Um, and it turns out that this state park was built by the utility company as part of a legal settlement for doing so much environmental damage to that part of Ohio. So, since they were forced by the court to build this park, it's a park to celebrate Jesse Owens and mining history. So, they got to write the script for the 
Ohio State Historical Marker sign, which after touring the park, taking video and everything, doing my whole correspondence off, which is, of course, bilingual, but bilingual, um, mm. Spanish and English, because, you know, Grand Theft World, um, you know, in the name itself implies the fact that we are indeed international. Aussies, Kiwis, Kanuckians, Mexicans, beyond the five eyes. People well, yeah. from all around the world, Thailand, Netherlands, you know, all. We're well, that, that is big the tent, end goal. People from all over the world, and, and we reach out in all languages. And uh, you need a translation. Holler at your young. Um, That's right. So we've now made it to the point where we can turn and pivot to what the fuck is going on with all of the military trains. Seen two Got more military trains right. today on the Norfolk Southern. There is so much shit I'll being put my moved stuff around away. the country right now, and I'm just wondering, man. Like, are is, are we in a war right now? Or what? Wait a second. I'm, I'm sorry. No, let me no, rephrase no, no, that. No, 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 How no. many no. wars are they we are, in right now? They are moving equipment right now uh, to a more advantageous position. I guarantee you, that's what's going on. Yeah. I don't know well, why. Well, we're also invading Haiti right now. I didn't think about that. How many people are we sending to Haiti? But, I mean... Hmm. Boy, Haiti could be a real good wrong. For what? Human trafficking? That's what they've traditionally used it for. Well, I would say they could take more gold, but they already took all the gold. I would say they could cut more timber, but they already clear cut the entire country. <laughs> um, yeah, human trafficking. Well, that, that, well, that's all they got left. Just take the bodies. Have you seen the shacks they live in? No, they'll be. They, they you can trust me. Anything they have would be better than that. We're doing them a favor. Welcome to America. Uh, and this is your new job at the Tyson Chicken Plant. There you go. Welcome to Morristown, Tennessee. Anyway, t true story. Oh, okay. So they haven't actually sent any troops to Haiti yet. Uh, but they're saying they're prepared to deploy troops if necessary. Which right. doesn't mean anything. So, it's, so it's, it's just military advisors that have deployed so far. Not uh, actual... Yes, so boots on the ground because you know there's a difference robert mcnamara anyways <laughs> just like all the military advisors we have in the trenches in ukraine how can you tell which one is the american in the ukrainian trench at Avdivka? drizzle how can you tell which one is the american because they're all wearing the same fatigue. Right. Uh, I'll give it away. It's the it's the one that's not under 7 or over 70. Uh, that's the opinion. See, I was going to say it was the one with uh, the pink hair. That's, <laughs> that's how you know it's the American. Pink hair. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Another way that gives it away? He's black. Okay, anyways, I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Square in Kiev, uh, wherever that is. Oh, Lord, you're going to get us kicked off of YouTube again in the same episode. What, I'm sorry, they, they changed it to the Stepan Bandera yeah. Square. Sorry, sorry, Martin. Was it... Uh, different country, different culture. Open okay. Lines last week was banned in seven countries internationally. Because of the the movie footage that RBL was showing on his screen, ah, oh. yeah, it, no sound, didn't have any sound coming from the movie. It was just moving pictures. They're like, nope, can't show it in these seven Asian countries. Wow! And Bangladesh was First, one of I'm them. I'm fucky with the jailbreak footage from Bond Scott after he uh, hung up his. Um, Recorder and bassoon. Yeah, they were cool with that. 
They're like that. That can go everywhere. That can reach everybody. Well, you know, technically, that wasn't even a strike. They they just no, it wasn't swatted it away like a, a fly, and we're like, don't you no, know? No, it was like in in accordance with law in these countries, we are not allowed technically to publish this video there. We're just letting you know. Thank you, YouTube. Fuck off. Choking chickens ain't easy, says Six. Well, you know, some people pronounce polished chickens as politicians, but I say they're polished chickens. They're cowards, but they're polished. And how, how do you know they're polished chickens? You can see where they've been choking. Anyway. Oh. oh, speaking of Ukraine, uh, have have you been following the saga of uh, Emmanuel Macron and uh, his bloodlust. Well, I mean, they're talking about sending French troops to, they've already got them in Poland, and he's talking about sending more French troops into the Ukraine officially. Yeah. Um, and so... To fight those evil Russians. I mean... The last time the French military established an offensive line from Waterloo and running south, um, they were under the command of Napoleon Bonaparte. Um, surely they'll do better this time. I, I mean, we'll we'll find surely. out. We'll find out. Surely. That's the fun part, right? Is is or we, they'll all end up on some out. island in the middle of the fucking ocean like yeah. Napoleon did after that battle. But Yona. Uh, what's the first thing you think a French soldier will say upon arrival in the Ukraine? Hmm. Well, they don't really like the board. Ooh, they got snails in Ukraine. Escargot. Escargot. No, not Sacre the first bleu. thing they'll eat. The first thing they'll escargot say. Ici. Grâce à Sainte Marie et tous les saints au ciel à l'heure. Pardon my friend. Yeah. Ooh, seven Asia army. There you go. <laughs> White stripes in Asia. Damn. Wish I had thought of that. That would have, that would have been a good joke. Maybe we'll have to get six to start writing for us. No doubt. How many jobs you need, six? We can probably I'm, supply you know, at least I've one or two. I've never fucked with the White Stripes. Jack White. Really? It's not bad. I've not remixed any of his stuff yet. I've always He's, thought of Jack White as uh, kind of like an acquired taste. I mean, I, I, I'm the project I'm working on right now is called "Hey Genocide Joe," which is a remix of "Hey Joe" by uh, Hemi Jandrix, and uh, and then it's got brand new Yonage underneath there, and, and I've already got my beats done. I just I got to pull in. Jimi Hendrix, but I'm going to a whole new schedule. So uh, my musical production is going to be at about half or a third of what it used to be because with five kids getting older and bigger every day, it's just become way too much for my better half to just take care of everything always. I just when they when from when they wake up till they go to sleep, I have to be able to help. Whenever, however, so you know that's fine. I'm already a night owl, so yeah. I'll just kind of zombie it through the days, and then you know once I get all the kids to bed, then I work on things. But I can't really do. I've got a couple songs to sing, and I can't really do the. Um, oh, I could take this laptop out in the van, and then do the screaming vocal. Yeah, so uh, so I got two mashups I'm working on now. I guess whenever I get done with Jimi Hendrix here, and that's the Gwam. Um, wake me up before you guar guar, because I'm gonna mix guar with wham, because I don't think anybody has. I, no, I don't think anybody has. I, I, I believe don't... you would be the first. I don't think, and I'm going to call the song Gwam. Gwam, and Guar, and Wham. Gwam, with an exclamation point. Okay. Uh, and so we've got Gwam, and then this other one is 
Seven Asia Army. Hmm. Who would you mix Let's for see. the White Stripes? I have heard other versions of that song, but not as a mashup. But I could call that the White Oriented Stripes remix. Because they're oriented a certain way. And right. it's the Seven Asia Army. That's perfect. White Oriented Stripe remix. Oh, yeah. Uh, Biscotti said there's a Hey Joe remix you're supposed to be doing. I want to hear that. Cause... that. That's what I just said I'm working on. All it's right. called Hey Genocide Joe. Ah, uh, okay. Jimi Hendrix with the fresh Yonage. I just haven't pulled in the Jimmy's fan. Gotcha. I'll be, work I'll be working on that tonight. Nice. But when I mix Asia with um, Seven Nation Army, it's not going to be the Rains in Africa song. You know, it turns out Ace has got album after album after album. There's a lot better stuff they have out there than the Rains fucking happen hmm. but not that that's a bad song but normally when i remix things i just go for what sounds really good not the most popular song or whatever you know and i often get complaints you know like bro you finally do merle haggard and you do rambling fever why didn't you do the this i don't know what, what, what song are you talking about oh why well, didn't do that song because it sucks well, you, you, no, I don't. Well, then, tell you what, buddy. You remix it. Everyone can be a DJ. Everyone can be a journalist. Yeah. Everyone can be a content creator. Sky is the limit. But act now. Well, censorship the, the and pending. Glass ceiling um, <laughs> is the limit, technically. <laughs> Screws are I, coming down. I, I don't mean, know. Do we need to talk about that? <laughs> With this First Amendment hamstringing our government, we clearly got to get it out of yeah, the way. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask you if you were still outraged about her. I mean, that, 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 that was the oral arguments from this Monday with um, mm -hmm. Katanji Jackson. That's right. Our beloved uh, about Supreme that Court Justice. Our, 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 she's a uh, freshman. She's the, she's the baby. She's the baby of the family. <laughs> Yep, she's the Babs on this version of uh, uh, and Clarence Thomas is still Tiny Tunes. On. God bless him. Yeah, yeah, Tiny Tunes. If the Supreme Court was Tiny Tunes, we're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. There you go, <laughs> Tiny Tunes. <laughs> um, Steely Dan. Yeah, there's a good one, bro. Six don't know about... See, there's one I've started on I never finished. Goji Ra, where I'm remixing the song Godzilla by the Blue Oyster Cult, and I'm mixing it with um, BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Right. Styx. Domo Amarigato, Mr. Roboto. And that other one by um, ELO, which would be... Uh, Electric Light Orchestra. Yeah. There you go. ELO, BTO, BOC, and Sticks. Gojira. Oh, yeah. no. There goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla. Whoa. Good, good track. I, I already, what, what I've got done so far, like the first 90 seconds, I shared on the Grand Theft World Telegram. I don't know. When I started fucking with it a couple weeks ago, I, I've put so much fucking music up on that Telegram. You have, and that's a special thing because, like, most all the music that's on that Telegram you can't find from me anywhere else other than on my hard drive. So, oh wow, all the more reason, folks, to join up with that uh, Grand Theft World Telegram. That sounds like a deal to me. I just post shit in there that catches my interest. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, it is amazing. It's amazing. I, I love love sampling the guitars, man. It's just something about it. Um, but I did notice 
with the uh, Cypress Hill that you played there. Because mm -hmm. I, I just got done ripping that uh, six hits of Mota Cypress Hill mixtape. Um, and, you know, after having listened to it now probably about 30 or 40 times, obviously, I, you know, there's things I want to go back and fix. I want to redo the transition between the first and second track. A couple of things I wanted to do, but I actually want to go back and, and remaster it, you know, and fix, make it even better. Because, um, I, I, you know, I, I'm really digging that shit, man. It's kind of timely. Some music yeah. just, you know, just never ceases to fucking bang. Yeah. That that's called good music. Yep. <laughs> that's that's what we play on Liberty Radio is good music. You will not hear shit music on Liberty Radio. I can I can personally guarantee that. And now I won't play it. I don't care if they tell me to play it, I won't play it. And now if I'm going to get somebody calling my phone urging me to vote for Joe Biden, it's going to have to be one of my other family members. And I don't know how they'd get my phone number unless he gives it out. But well, he might that's give what it I'm out. waiting for next. The, 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 he was the first. Mom's going to send another one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'll be another Oh, yeah. Now, this is a big year, man. This this is the most important election in the history of ever, Yona. Like they got you know, they got to get everybody out on this one. Like it we does need sound harsh from everyone. It really does sound harsh to block a family member, but to be fair, he harangued me about getting the new vax. And that was a bridge too far. That's when it just went beyond fucking crazy town. And I was like, as soon as this call is over, I got to end this call. Fuck yeah. I ain't voting at all. Well, then Trump will win. Well, good. Make America great again. Fuck it. When, Boom, he hung up. All right, block. Don't when was the again. last time that you talked to I him? I ain't fucking with Biden and I ain't fucking with Pfizer neither, man. Fuck off. When was the last time you talked to him? It had been about six months. Okay. And just out of the blue. And he was still bringing up the, the shot thing. You know, I, I, I have to remind myself it. I see it, you know, when I'm at Walmart getting diapers or whatever, you know, new vaxes and new this and same at the Walgreens. They're still, they're still rolling out more vaxes. And there's still motherfuckers at the grocery stores and the drug stores walking around inside and outside. And I keep seeing the same motherfucker jogging in the park by himself with his fucking face. That's why I remixed NPC theme. I mean, it's this modernization of the Smith Munt Act has led to a significant fraction portion of the u.s population that have broken fucking brains yeah. their brains are broken well it wasn't just and smith month though tuning into their program that was a part just, of it but it sucks when it's like your entire fucking family i'm the only well, one to yeah. get back yeah it sure does doesn't it <laughs> I'm that crackpot. You're an extremist truther with your constitution talk, Yona. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Damn that constitution. Damn those pesky liberties. It, it, it it's like freedom to the extreme. Well, I, you know, your your favorite justice pointed out eloquently that the First Amendment really looks like it's only there to hamstring the government. You know? By design, and it's it, exactly. If we could just get around that, everything would be fine. Well, you know, when thoughts get out of pasture, need better gates and gatekeepers. Obviously, obviously, that's right. Shout out Timcast. 
he, but see, after I blocked the call, then he sent me a message on um, WhatsApp. And I responded, well, thank you very much. Think about it. Well, thank you very much. And I put a question mark. Hmm. Well, thank you very much. Clearly, you know, after 12 Just fucking Yona. canned answers, you ain't thinking at all. It's all delivered. I mean, oh my God, I just made the connection. My two brothers and my two sisters are non playable characters. Oh, Jesus. With maybe the dance and everything. That, yeah. that explains the yeah. erratic arm movement at last. Fuck, man. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? And why you're like, but. But your conspiracy theory. I mean, that that is what happens when you watch too much television. Or listen to Tim Tim Pool, Tim Cast. Well, that is television. It's formatted just like television. I don't understand why people don't see it. It's just it's television just without the commercials. My baby brother's inner monologue voice is voiced by Tim Pool. Oof. 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 What, that, what? That's like a that's like a Kit Cabello Chicago style. Oof. <laughs> yeah. So so what do you think of that whole half of the population doesn't have an inner monologue bullshit? Because that sounds like some eugenicist divide the population shit. It is I'm going to trick you into thing. othering your fucking human brother for no fucking good reason. Yeah, this vilification of non-democrats. Vilification of non-liberals. Because as I have now found out, it doesn't matter whether or not you are Republican or Libertarian or Independent or uh, I don't know could totally give a flying fuck. Uh, mark me down as fully apathetic, um, and you know that that's how I politically identify. Fuck you, apathy. Um, and so, and I, and he the way he you know the way he let it be known to me, either you you're ride or die with Biden, or you're just getting Trump elected. So, you know, you're either with the Democrats or you're with Trump. I mean, there's only two ways about it. <laughs> why, why can't I vote for RFK? What if I want some Bobby the Op action, huh? Yeah, am I not allowed to do that in America now? Well, I mean, I guess you can write him in because he's not going to be on most <laughs> state ballots. <laughs> I mean, he's running for president. Just you know, he's not worried about like ballot access and all that, you know, petty shit. Just send money. I guess he's gonna. He's the candidate for the write-in party, right? Yeah. Well, I'd like to think that a pen in every hand. That's my platform. You know, the best thing for. Bobby Kennedy winning president would be um, he'd take a pay cut? Maybe? He'd have to rough it? <laughs> no. no. No, no, He he'd, he'd have that, to take he, a step he, down no, living in the White in Have you seen have you seen his house? Don't you know how it works, Yona? They take he their don't assets, live in a house. They put them he in a trust. In a Somebody else takes care of them while they're in office. They they get like a couple hundred grand per year to just fucking throw around on whatever because the food's paid for, uh, fucking utilities are paid for, uh, taxpayers pay for all that shit. They're, they're not paying rent or a mortgage or anything. All their transportation's fucking paid for. Everything's paid for. It's awesome. That's a hell of a gig, man. So... Have you ever heard you come of out this? the other side a fucking millionaire? What's not to I, love about that gig? Is it called Project 2025? Have you ever heard of it? 
No, but I'm going to search it now. Project 2025. That was the first topic that was laid in my lap. Um, that, you know, if Trump is not defeated this November, oh my God, brother, please tell me you know about Project 2025. I'm like, uh, no. What the fuck? I know about Gay Zero 2030. You know about that? What the fuck are you talking about? I just he's gonna send me a link. So he sends me a link. Goddamn Heritage Foundation crap. With the uh... fucking Lincoln, you know, the, the Lincoln Project and the Heritage Foundation people. They, they, these are all anti Trumper Republican. Uh, it, and this is some type of drivel that's being fed to liberals that, you know, Trump gets back yeah, in. It looks like it. He's going to weaponize the courts and have frivolous impeachments, and he's going to use the political system, go after his political appointments. And I'm like, man, this was this written by Israel? This is like uh, some serious projection going on here. Look like this, literally gonna... everything you've done for the last four years, you're now saying it could might maybe happen. They're going to save America, Yona. Charged. Never mind that we've already done all this already. That, this they got just... like their whole pitch worked out. Website looks professional. Like somebody put some thought into this for sure. Look at that. This they got a fucking duper scroll. Scary. The James super Madison Institute. Scary. Are you fucking kidding me? This is top shelf right here, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Man. Holy fuck. They are going to save America, no doubt. Get out and vote for That's whoever uh, they want you to vote for because they're going to save America. I guarantee you the guy that put that website together and the guy that wrote the fucking text for all that, both of them own paid good money. Yep. Golf gloves. For those that aren't familiar with the game of golf, you don't have to have golf gloves to drive from the blues. No. You know, that's at the tee where you, you know, put your little tee in, put the ball on, you try and whack the fuck out of that ball, send it a good 400 yards down, you know, like some Freddie Couples action. But, anyways, um, what was I saying? The golf glove. Both of those guys got golf gloves. And, of course, the best thing about it, you only get one golf glove. No one wears gloves on both hands. Why not? What if the other hand gets cold? you ever see Michael Jack? Because that's, dude, you ever seen Wacko Jacko Michael Jackson with a glitter glove on both hands? Well, no, but that's because he was a weirdo. Well, it's the, it's the same rules with golf. You have to be a weirdo to play golf? I never looked at it that way. Tiger Woods is a weirdo, though. Oh, definitely. He's also a freak. Yeah. Allegedly. I don't want to get sued. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that shit. He does have some really big horse-sized teeth. I mean, like, his bicuspids look like molars. It's crazy. Well, I mean, he, yeah, right. He's he. Eats his his well. teeth are so big that he can get a prescription for ivermectin as, as a as a horse human hybrid. Um, I, I think they're called minotaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Minoan civilization on Crete. Hey, Arachleon, how you doing? Anyway. All right, so I got a question for you, Yona. What is the most amount of media appearances that you've made in a single day? Uh, I've done two shows in a day a couple of times. Only once did I do three shows. And... um Yeah, that's why I had, I've had to change my schedule now. 
because uh, I've, I've just spent a lot of time on the computer and not helping where I need to help. Anyway. Understandable. Understandable. But but three was tops. But then Monday happened. Whoa. And uh, and you went kind of Wilt Chamberlain on the internets there, buddy, with the 100-point score. Well, you know, I, I kind of felt like the day called for it. Speaking of numbers and Wilt Chamberlain, can anyone in the chat put their best guesstimate as to how many vaginas Wilt Chamberlain's penis penetrated? The, the, uh, now, now, this is Price is Right Bob Barker rules with a very, very long phallic microphone. Do I get so to play? You can't go over. You can go up to, but you can't go over. Okay. Hmm. And we have receipts. Only there, there are numbers. I had out. the Jeopardy music. We could play it, but I don't. <laughs> Not going to play it. This this is how we're going to get. I to could. The uh, I could play this. Well, he's dead, so uh, you know. In general, you always have to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> and coming up here at uh, the top of the hour, I guess about another ten minutes or so. We'll hit you with some actual will be footage. The one and only Archbishop of Canterbury himself, the King Maker. And uh, when you see him with his, like, you know, um, Bishop Prick wardrobe, I guess. I uh, know, I, I know the words for the vestments. Yeah. Because. He's the head of the Anglican Church. You know, it's like Catholic Church, but with divorce. Um, right. And so he's uh, super gay. And he's got all his vestments and everything. And dude is just like straight up throbbing fucking pedo vibe. Like, oh my God. Like, well, that makes he sense. literally looks like one of the judges at like a little Miss Teen USA pageant with the bald spot and the members only jacket. And he's got a 1985 Ford Mustang parked outside. With with um little C6 pony fucking knows how to bumper play this sticker. Game. See, I, y yeah. Y y yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> 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 like that South Park episode where Michael Jackson wants to be a little girl, and so they're all trapped on an airplane in limbo, and they somehow have to get. Michael Jackson as a little girl to win the Little Miss pageant. I missed that one, but I think I'm going to go find it because it sounds interesting. Yeah, and then yeah, and of course the one. three male judges of the Little Miss pageant, you know. Again. Are so we've got 11:33 and we've got 9:11 for the guesses and we've got 11:38 Yeah, so far I'm the high guess with 11:38 because well, I, I I would guess just well, like I guess six. I could guess because I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna go with 14:20, Yeah, that one, well, that's four. higher than than my guess, but uh, just four, like we six. got 14:20, 11:38, 11:33, yeah. and 9:11. Just like right, Six so. said, Wilt himself claimed over a thousand. So anything that comes in under a thousand, uh, the man himself would not even admit to. Wilt Chamberlain. Just saying. Slept with a lot of women. Probably Hillary. I bet so she's while in there some somewhere. fans may have actually believed that Wilt actually slept with over twenty thousand women, holy cow! How many people did Wilt Chamberlain actually hook up with? That's more than me. Wilt Chamberlain claims to have slept with more than twenty thousand different women during his life. So, it looks like I just won this bag of dope, folks. 
Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was a time drown. Damn it! Was that? Wow. Can you only have one answer? You give your first answer. Answer is your final answer. Is that how this game works? I don't remember having the rules explained. Now that I know it was for a bag of weed. Wow, man! All of a sudden, That's I'm way great. more interested Here, uh, in the rules of this game. After the song, I, I've got to spin the wheel for the showcase cinema. And. I hear that one of the showcase packages features two weeks in Vaduz. That's right, Lichtenstein. Coming for that ass. Principality. The fuck, dude? I don't know. I didn't get that reference at all. Monarchial rule, you know. Some people think Monaco is where it's at. You Lichtenstein. I do. Anyway. So, question for you, Yona. Uh-huh. Did you watch the uh, the interview with Charlie Robinson on Monday? Yeah, that got a little wild. Yeah, what was your what was your impression? It let me know that cuz I I've, I've, you know, I've taken in quite a bit of the premium Robinson content and Quite often, he holds back and is kind of like uh, elder statesman vibes, you know? Like, if we were talking diplomats, he's normally got oh, that no. Sergei Lavrov type vibe. Oh, wow. He yeah, I'll that. fix it. Um, And so, it was just really, I was just like, wow. You know, he was totally off the chain. No holds barred with you and and absolutely comfortable and so that lets me know we are the cool people yeah it beats like that i mean look how um podomo san was hanging with you man you know what i'm saying yeah fucking corbett cracking up and everything you know what i'm saying it's a cool place to hang out i would say so i mean if you're getting fucked up, you know, you, you just leave with the truth buzz. It's effervescent. It's like an Alka-Seltzer with an encyclopedia set. Yeah, as I said, I was I was very surprised that Charlie was as generous with his time as he was. Because uh, even when I, when I told him, you know, we've already been going almost an hour now, he was just like, all right, cool. Yeah, it was a well, you uh, know, fascinating I conversation. One thing that, that maybe uh, disambiguates or, or maybe uh, one distinguishing characteristic of the Grand Theft World universe here is the fact that everyone involved that I've met with, everyone that I work with, everyone does their own research. Everyone asks their own questions. And then amazingly, as we all follow different leads to the truth, we then end up meeting back, well, typically on Sundays, but uh, or Thursdays, and we end up meeting back at the same place because the mm -hmm. truth leads you back to the same place, which is more freedoms, please. Um, back to you, Drew. Yeah. Can confirm. How it works. Yeah. But it's it's. I guess it's nice to know that there are people actually doing that out there in the world still, you know, and it's not just everyone's following somebody else's fucking narrative. Well, and you know, the other thing is to have an entire community of inquisitive minds. Mm. When you have people that are still questioning, um, then you can have adult conversations and you can have debates about varying viewpoints. And it's not like, Democrats arguing with Republicans where they're both so deeply programmed um, and uh, also starved of truth such that it's literally a battle of competing ignorances. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of like when monkeys are throwing poop at one another. I mean, you could it's step a lot in like when monkeys are throwing referee, poop at one another. But, um, why? Yeah. 
It's a lot like that. Just walk, just turn and walk away. Turn and walk away. And what? What is it? What did he? What did he call him? That? Oh, I can't remember his name now. The guy running for fucking governor of Virginia, Macaca. He called the reporter Macaca. <laughs> what? You remember when that happened? That was in no, Richmond. I, I don't remember when that happened. Macaca. And that was a big thing. They're like, oh my God, that's a racial slur. He's like, it was a slip of the tongue. And I'm like, <laughs> is, is macaca a bad word? No, nah, I don't okay. remember that happening at all. Who was it? Okay, let's see here. Was it Northam? Because he was, was a retard. Virginia... That man was a straight up retard. Governor Macaca. Macaca. Yeah, Macaca. Uh, on August eleventh, two thousand six, George Allen at a gubernatorial oh, campaign sense. stop in Breaks, Virginia, near the Kentucky border. Allen twice used the racist slur Macaca, meaning monkey. To refer to the dark complexioned SR Siddharth, who was filming the event as a tracker for the opposing campaign of Jim Webb. Huh. Well, who won? I don't remember. I don't think it really matters. This fella here over here with the yellow shirt on, Macaca, or whatever his name is, he was he's with my opponent. Let's give a hearty welcome to Macaca here. Welcome to America and the real world of Virginia. Wow. Siddharth, who is of Indian ancestry, what a was born and raised in Fairfax County, Virginia. Hey, Fairfax That's right. County! That sounds like somebody I want to get behind. Let's everybody wow. go vote Jim for this Webb. Asshole. Jim Webb won that governor's race for the Old Dominion. By approximately one third of one percent, only eight thousand eight hundred votes. Wow! Two days after the election, on November 9th, Republican George Allen held a press conference in Alexandria, Virginia, announcing that after consulting with his legal team, he had decided to concede the race to Webb and would not seek any recounts. His defeat was attributed to the Macaca remarks made. On the campaign trail. And the park where he made those comments mm -hmm. at, at Brakes Park, there at the lookout, I made a video there. Oh, yeah. I got to find it for you. I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure I shared it over on the. What's it about? It's a correspondence hall where I was in Virginia. It's one of the Virginia videos I made for you. Oh. I've, I've filmed so many hours of video stuff. Some of it I put on, what is it, the Daegu cloud or whatever? Something like that. Yeah. God, I haven't Something looked at like that, that thing in a while. Dago or whatever. <laughs> Good thing is I'll have some spare time uh, coming up here in a couple of weeks. So maybe I'll have a day to put something together. Because I'm sitting around yeah, not doing so, anything. So I'll, I, I will earmark those two particular videos. We're, we're going to call it Macaca Park. <laughs> Breaks Interstate Park. It's where Virginia and Kentucky meet um, at the uh, uh, Russell Fork, Elkhorn Fork of uh, Sandy River. Hmm. Anyway. The old Sandy River. It's the River. Grand Canyon of the East. There you go. The Grand Canyon of the East. Breaks Park, where George Allen said, Macaca. I often say ca instead of car. Well, there's a reason for that, Biscotti. Um, in New England, there's only 25 letters. Because Holy shit, there is there's no still people ah. watching? There is no ah. Oh, wow. Look at Hawk, that. Ca, bada, ha. Hawaii. There's no ah. There's no ah uh, in New England. Correct. All right. We got to design a t-shirt, Yona. 
What what does a get fact harder t-shirt look like? Because I've actually I've had people bug me for it now. So we have, oh, well, we have to the, do the it. The front, of course, says to find out more, fuck around. And then on the back, Grand Theft World Liberty Radio, get packed harder. Hmm. That's one of them. The, the, the other one is smoke more of the weeds. Um, but uh, that might be the one. I think that might be the one. Smoke more the weed. Uh huh. So you could and do then, it. Um, trying to think here. You could do it as like a marijuana leaf design. Yeah. On the front. And somehow you would incorporate smoke more the weeds into that. Right. I don't know exactly what it looks like yet, but. But then when but then when you have your smoke more the weeds, then you can then have balanced on the bottom to the left and to the right below it your uh major high yona and your colonel uh drizzle. Mm. Or or you can use the uh, you know what you go with the abbreviations. Just like M A J dot C O L dot when you spell out "colonel," it doesn't look like you would pronounce it "colonel" because there's no, there's no R. R. Never, never mind. Ne- right. Never. Don't think about it. Well, you know, I figured as long as I was going to be fighting in the meme wars, I should probably have a rank. And yeah. and since you know all the other famous uh, fake soldiers were also lieutenant colonels. I figured it was only fitting, right? Thank God we speak English and not British. Imagine if you were a, a lieutenant colonel. Mm. You're like, could you spell lieutenant colonel for me? <laughs> and then they spell <laughs> lieutenant colonel or something. You're like, what right. the fuck? How do you go from lieutenant to I lieutenant? I don't know how that works. How do you go from aluminum to aluminium? How do you go from laboratory to laboratory? British is weird. It's a strange language. It's very strange. And they eat spotted dick, but that's a dessert. We should we should get Johnny Vedmore on here to uh, to answer for the crimes of British. Now, speaking of which, um, are, are are y'all ready to just have one super duper dose of as British as it gets? Are are we ready to go full fucking Union Jack? What are we doing? Now I, I do have to warn you, the I thought about like digging through and uploading just the video ontological by itself, but that was gonna like require more effort than I felt like doing. So I just went to the capitalistocracy movie from Pig to Parrot, which has that video in it at the 35 minute and second mark. I don't know. I, where, where I sent the clip on uh, Dick Sword. Yeah. Uh, oh, 3530. 35.30. On, and it's a rumble video. All right. Uh, but yeah, surprise. <clears throat> hey, surprises but, are uh, always good. Canterbury, England. For those that are not familiar with basic United Kingdom Sorry. geography, Canterbury is just north of the white chalk cliffs of Dover, England, which is opposite France, right on the English Channel. There it is. There it is. Um, right there on the English Channel, because as soon as that goes off, it goes right into the video, because that's the end of the other one. Gotcha. That's the Julian Assange song. Which, isn't Julian Assange still having his uh, extra edition trial or something there? Well, they're trying to cut a deal with him now, apparently. Oh! Uh, to I, I, I don't think I heard this right, but for some reason, it's, it's sticking in my brain that 
uh, they're going to reduce the felony charge down to a misdemeanor. And, and basically just like say, uh, you know, no hard feelings. Something like let that. let him go? I, I don't know if they're going to let him go. Like he still has to say he's guilty, I think. So that they can oh. keep him in prison. But it's not going to be like the, the, the horrible, uh, we have to kill you now bad thing that he did before now it's just well i mean the main thing is if he gets extradited throw you in a cage if he gets extradited to the united states he's going to the flow of course supermax yeah right there oh he'll be dead do not pass go do not collect 200 dollars. you don't even get to look at baltic avenue straight to jail yeah that'll be over so anyways canterbury is in the part of England closest to France, just almost right up on the English Channel. So, like when you think of the island that's mainly England, you know, Scotland on top, and you look at it, there's this like little finger, like a thumb that sticks out on the southeastern corner of the island, and that's Canterbury and the Archbishop of Canterbury, and, and uh, when I wrote the lyrics to this song, I went back to the Archbishop of Canterbury, St. Anselm of Canterbury, who put forth the ontological argument for the existence of a creator God, um, for the, you know, the ontological argument for the existence of God. Uh, it's an intellectual defense of the supernatural. Um, and so... I then went back and forth between my own lyrics and then taking lines out of um, Proslogium, which is the main work of the Archbishop of Canterbury, Anselm, St. Anselm, for whom there's like a, actually a St. Anselm College, I think up in New Hampshire. Maybe? I believe, I believe anyway, you're correct. Yeah. Um, but, um, and of course my, my family name is Anselmo. I, he's an actual ancestor of mine so that that's where this whole song come together but it really came together when kingsley read the lyrics because because i uh i wrote the lyrics out and then i did the well, song he's a real brit um and yeah and so he you was know, actually born i actually there. played a different part piano part and everything and i did the lyrics sent it to dead fella he's like he's like well you got anything else like that? So I sent him two other instrumental piano things. And he ended up using the one that I'd already remixed with um, Too Short. Shout out Oaktown, California. So um, he ends up using Escalier sample and then sends it to um, Kingsley. And Kingsley did the lyrics. And then he added all these other parts. And then he sends it back to me. He's like, check this out. I was like, holy shit, dude. What the fuck? When did you all do this? They're like, oh, last hour. God damn, man. That's fucking my He's like, yeah, we're going to put it on the album. Well, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I, I don't know if you've played this one or not. Uh, Ontological. What's it called? Ontological. I don't know if we have. This might be the first time. Let's see. See, th- well, this ties th- all of the tonight's threads all tied into this one fucking song and video. All right. That's how we do it, folks. You could just get fact up. No. But that's a long, drawn out process. Sometimes you just got to get two fistfuls of hair and get back talking. I would love to play that organ at the Caterbury Cat. What a pipe. Everyone watching this video, be on the lookout for Princess Kate. Everyone's looking for her. And she has been here before.
really weird hearing Kingsley say my lyrics, so. <laughs> Especially the part about the moonshine. Anyways. <laughs> well, I have found Kingsley a joy that is full and more than full. For when heart, mind, soul, and all the man are full of that joy, joy beyond measure will still remain. Hence, not all of that joy shall enter into those who rejoice. But they who rejoice shall wholly enter into that joy. Ontological or illogical, the diabolical depths of ignorance that taunt my mouth. flickers of light. That's why I had drowned that video. by darkness mouth, all around. Like a, a For what little trivia my mind has found, where little is profound and a great many things are shallow. So hang wick and tallow, no fields fallow. Distill corn by candlelight, because we make our own there he around is. here. Am I right? There he is. With the blue That my joy Bam. may be full. You see that? Meanwhile, let I'm my mind King meditate Chuck with my Bluetooth in. I let my, like my tongue home. speak of it. Let my heart love it. Let my mouth talk of it. Let my soul hunger for it. Wendy of the modern art. Let my flesh thirst for it. Let my whole being desire it until I enter into thy joy, O Lord. Philosophical or doxological, the glorified praise of beliefs taunt my glowing embers, my spirit burning through ice. For what little grace my soul has recognized, where it is encompassing and ubiquitous and not circuitous. The superfluous flow where we all know even King James's versions must go. Scripture is in red letters, blood cells in our veins, and the gospel in cigarette fingertip stain. Think for yourselves even when it pains, where only your essence remains, no more ego to fight. And now, my soul, arouse and lift up all thy understanding, and conceive, so far as thou canst, of what character and how great is that good. For if individual goods are delectable, conceive in earnestness how delectable is that good which contains the pleasantness of all goods and not such as we have experienced in created objects but as different as the creator from the creature for if the created life is good how good is the created life And that's why we create. I didn't see her. No. She's still missing. The mystery continues. That's We're going to need Scooby-Doo on this. That's absolutely crazy. Like, how can you just be, like, not around for when 18 months? she discovered months? them all lifeless, practically yeah. in the same position, with this no signs song. of a predator entering their enclosure. I'm... Yeah, this is a different song. Okay. That it's is like the uh, whole thing. Priceless life, worthless money. Because that, that's a whole movie. That's a movie called Pig to Parrot. Capitalistocracy, the album movie. So what's the track. what's the significance of the, the animal transformation? Well, uh, because the the film begins with you falling from outer space, spiraling all the way down to the surface of the earth where you are then eaten by a pig. Because apparently, well, spoiler alert, there's actually a guy that was skydiving and his GoPro fell off while he was skydiving. So the GoPro ooh, like spirals all the way down to the ground, which is a really cool effect, and it landed in a pigsty. 
and then a pig came up and actually ate the camera. Oh, and wow. so I then used that to then transition to a camera being dropped down a well pipe 2,000 feet down into a cave, and that gets you to the end of the first song where you're now in the belly of the earth. Um, and then you fast forward all the way to the end of the movie, and that dude was lucky. The there's a GoPro on somebody's banister on their back porch, and a parrot lands and walks up to the GoPro camera and sees it and grabs it and takes off and flies away with it way high into the sky, and that's how it ends. So the pig brings you in, and the parrot takes you out. And it's just really cool to see animals as the camera. You know, so, yeah, it's just a different thing. Yeah. And and so you know at, in the beginning you you fall into the earth and at the end you make your escape back into the cosmos, just like Kate Middleton. Right. One day abdominal surgery, next day, who knows? Who knows? I haven't seen her. That's right. Wait a second. It'll be interesting. Is is there like? But she was on the red carpet. I seen her. They they had that picture of her on the red carpet at the Oscars. They weren't at the Oscars. Photoshop. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably going to see her in a few different deep fake um, stuff. I guess guess Kate has not been recording all those songs on Songify then. No. Mm -mm. No, nobody's seen her. Nobody has seen her. Which is uh, interesting because, I mean, she has children. I guess her children haven't seen her. She it, has a husband. Is, is it in in British? She hasn't is it seen conspiracy her. or conspiracy? How do they say that in British? Oh, uh, conspiracy. Rep, reptilis, rep, reptilian. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I can't think of it. Whatever happened to that whole Sergei Skripal thing and the Novichok and all that? Back when um. Tracey May was the prime minister, the the hair product lady, Tracey May. Um, Tracey May. Ah, you lost me. Trace, uh, Theresa May. That's ah, right. ah. There we go. Or Tracey May, as they say in Ang- England. The dancer. Right, I remember. I trace Tracey May. Um, and that, that's when that, it was highly likely that the Russians had poisoned Sergei Skripal. Mm. And that's why they had to go into his flat and kill the cat. Oh, yeah. That sounds logic. And, um, so, totally unrelated to that story. Get rid of everything. About six kilometers or I'm going to say roughly about three and a half miles to the west of this alleged Russian poisoning happens to be a facility called Porton Down um, which is kind of like the British version of Fort Detrick. Yeah. Anyways, but it, it is the British version <laughs> of Fort Detrick. It's not kind of yeah. Co- what a quinky dink. Anyway. I, you know, things happen. Uh, there, there's a, a whole like uh, studies have been done to show that there are uh, more prevalent clusters of cancer that have sprung up around the area of Fort Detrick in Maryland than what normally happens around you know just like the average uh, military facility. Like for some reason, there's something special the about that separate, area. They got uh, just causes people to BSL have a lot of port. cancer. I don't know of anywhere else on planet Earth where they have three BSL level four labs side by side by side. Well, they do it for that's, Dietrich. That's heavy hit. BSL. Yeah. What do they call it? Biosecurity laboratory, laboratory level four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. BSL. And, and, of course, VSLs have DSL, really good internet. 
course. And and hopefully the hermetic seal and, and the um, vacuums and everything is working okay because, you know, when when there's issues with that, um, well, just ask um, the Wuhan Institute of Virology, you know. Um, Better yet, uh, ask oops, the folks anyway. up in uh, Winnipeg. Because uh, apparently, I don't know if you knew about this, Yona, uh, but back in 20, was it 2019? I think it was 2019. Or maybe they were picked up in 2012. I don't remember. So there were some Chinese scientists that were working at the BSL level four facility up in Winnipeg in Canada. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, apparently they were doing some things that they weren't supposed to be doing as far as like sending viruses back and forth between different other facilities all over the world and whatever. And uh, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, who we highlighted earlier in the broadcast this evening, uh, they went in and uh, grabbed those two Chinese scientists out of the BSL Level 4 facility, took them away in cuffs, and nobody has ever fucking heard from them again. Well, it turns out that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau actually has some information on these folks and what may or may not have happened to him. And he's been hiding it from the Canadian people. Isn't that cool? Huh. Well, I remember when... Fact uh, check me on that. The, the uh, president and CEO of the Chinese telecommunications company, Huawei, um, when his daughter... Landed at uh, Vancouver Airport, I want to say, in British Columbia. Mm -hmm. Meng Wangzhou. Or... Ah, I'm not really good with names. We'll just call her Meng. Or better yet, Huawei chick. The Huawei chick. Hey, Meng. Gets pulled off the plane, and her request of the Americans, the Canadians detained her. And, um, Then there were some Canadians detained by the Chinese in retaliation. Right. And I think they finally ended right. up Right, I remember they were in a pissing match for a while. Yeah. That kind of got ugly. Probably because uh, fucking it escalated Fudge quickly. Trudy made a pass at G and G didn't like it. So, <laughs> you know, start this little international flame war. Well, the thing about it is maple syrup in Canada is good. But we all know um, Xi Jinping want, wants some Huani. <laughs> Pooh Bear loves the honey. Come on. Right. But maple syrup's close. But 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 it, it's not like that yummy, sticky, 100-acre wood um, honey pot. You know what I'm saying, Christopher yeah. Robin? Anyway. But no, there was, there was something shady going on with those scientists. I still haven't been able to figure out exactly what it was. Uh -huh. I guarantee the Winnipeg quids, though, um, Xi Zhang Li and Ralph Barrett. It's a very oh, yeah. tight community oh, yeah. working with that no -seum serum sauce. What, uh, them, uh, the fucking uh, facility down at Texas A&M, home of none other than Dr. Peter Hotez. No. Yes. Otez is an Aggie fucking shithead from College Station. Correct. Everything makes sense now. Agriculturally and mechanically. Well, obviously. Yeah, he was he was part of the PR side. Running interference and all of that shit. I mean, like as if it wasn't fucking obvious what he was doing, right? Oh, did you hear the news? So, turns out I, you you got to be more specific. That the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, what was the call uh -huh. them CDC? Well, call them the C disease or right. CDC or whatever. C disease, yeah, the C disease company down in Atlanta, Georgia. There, um, well, it turns out they did a study on the myocarditis. Um. Uh, after all of the sequelae reports um, you know, where, where people call in about their side effects. 
Beckley report. You know, um, it right. said put in the um, uh, vaccine adverse event reporting system or VAIR. Right. We'll call it. A- anyhow, um, and, you know, subsequent to all these reports, they had to do a, a study on myocarditis. And it was done with public funds and it's public records, but uh, they had been keeping it private. So under the legal force of a um, FOIA request, which uh, FOIA, Freedom of Information, Information Act. Act. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Freedom of Information Act, FOIA request, um, to make the It's a thing that CDC, exists at the moment. Uh, cough up this you know, taxpayer funded, um, uh, myocarditis study, uh, pers- you know, subsequent to the, um, vaccine McVax fest. And, uh, so they finally coughed it up in court the other, uh, yesterday or whatever it was, all 148 pages were redacted with big yellow blocks. So they gave, oh, they went with yellow this 148 time, 148 page binder of, Yellow blocks. Yellow blocks, not black ones. Yeah, yellow this time. Black and yellow, black and yellow. That's right, Wiz Khalifa. Fully fucking yeah. redacted. Um, that that's what they call in Mortal Kombat flawless victory, humiliation. Right. Anyway, <laughs> back to Discovery legal team. Anyways, back to Discovery. The, 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 wow. File some more interrogatories while you're at it. Anyway. Nah, not surprising. Not surprising Uh, at all. Shit, it's 18 and I was supposed to remix the Alice Cooper or something. Never got to it. Oh, well. Yeah. It's all right. We we were going in a British direction and we had the British content. Right on time. Oh, yeah. British dude voicing high Yona lyrics. Well, I did hear a theory from somebody. I don't remember who it was. Uh, but after, <clears throat> I think it's after Easter, uh, Kate is supposed to resume her normal uh, princessly duties, I suppose. So uh, I have a feeling after the eclipse, uh, which I believe is immediately following Easter Sunday, if I've got my dates right, uh, we should know something. Uh, or it could be there's no more civilization, so it won't fucking matter anyway. I, mean, I think it's, it's going to go one of those two ways. But what if she died in surgery and they just don't want to say? I mean, what because, if she died a while ago? And yeah, this is their I mean, way like when of, you're the king like, and queen and out, prince and princess. How to get people of to the stop entire fucking wondering empire. where the fuck she is. You don't just get to disappear for months and months and months at a time, and then they go send the fucking archbishop out to say, and all teary-eyed, and crocodile tears flowing, and just leave those poor, super insanely rich, ruling royal family people alone, okay? Right. Uh, what if it turns right. out what if it turns out that like uh, she just went Dave Chappelle and she's like, I got to go back to the motherland. Oh, it's like if the royal yeah. family was Amish, she's on a rumspringer right now. We <laughs> might we might see her in at Cozumel or maybe East Tapa, Zihuatanejo. Hello, Pacific Coast, Mexico. No, I know you've heard I mean, of she's actually in Africa. Like that's where she is. How far is that from Acapulco? Did did you ever hear of Ishtapa or Zihuatanejo? Uh I think I saw signs for Ishtapa when I was driving down. Major there. beach, major beach destination. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Ishtapa's right up there with fucking Cabo. Cabo San Lucas. Oh nice. Baja California del Sur. Exactly. Now just for review, wasn't it eight hours from when 
Hurricane Otis was identified as a low pressure system, moving, and it had um, sustained winds of 20 miles an hour. And eight hours later, it was uh, Category 5 and made landfall. Yeah, and we'll did go with all this hours. wind damage. And like most hurricanes, almost no rain, right? Because hurricanes don't the, really bring a lot of rain normally. Was it? Or, no, I'm sorry. The rain. Yeah, that, that's the, the first time there's first? ever been a Category 5 and like no well, significant would... rainfall. That was weird. I'm trying to remember. So, yeah. like, the rain and the wind came separately. And I can't remember which one was first. It was the rain came first, and then it was the wind, or the wind came first, and then it was the rain. But it wasn't all together like a normal hurricane. Right. Looked to me like it was just almost all wind damage. And if there was any rain, it would have been the, the after bands. Well, there was, there was wind. Normally the and there hard was rain surge. would be hitting first and then the wind, but it was back. Right. Literally. If you start digging into hurricane Otis landfall at Acapulco. Ooh, that's, I mean, I, I hope you're ready to have tea with the mad hatter, Alice. Cause that's, you ready to look through the looking glass? None of it makes sense. Nope. None of it makes sense. Nope. Yeah, I mean, and you can look at other Cat 5s recently, like Maria and Dorian and all your typical Caribbean rip roar. This thing was came out of the Pacific. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and, and, you know, not and the, then... Not that there aren't after hurricanes that in happened, the Pacific. There was there another are. hurricane that downgraded to tropical depression that went up and through California and Arizona and did all kinds of flood damage. Oh, yeah. Across the, um, I want to say Mojave Desert there, Southern mm -hmm. California around like, uh, yeah, yeah, Salton Sea. Well, yeah, because that area that. typically doesn't anyway. get that kind of weather. Yeah, because, I mean, they got like, well, and like, remember, um, Death Valley, California got hit with this storm. And they still have a lake. Hmm. They still have a lake in Death Valley. They don't know how long it's going to take for it to dry out. Because Death Valley is the lowest point in the United States. It's like right. two, three hundred feet below sea level. Because there's nowhere for water to go. So when it rained that hard, it just filled up the bottom of the whole fucking valley. just turned a huge lake. Pretty wild. Damn. Instant lakefront lake front property. That would be nice. But but it, it it's Open up my up. front door, there's a lake. That'd be pretty cool. I'd do and that. I I cannot believe I saw this on a sign. The city of Huntington on March what was it? March twenty seventh? They're having a flood wall exercise. Oh, yeah? So every single road in town that goes through the flood wall is going to be closed. Because they're actually going to put up all the gates. All the way around town on the flood wall. And, you know, I guess break the fucking rust off that thing. And, you know, make sure that they can... Still put slide in the gates and the missing parts of the flood ball all around town because they've not. I came up to Huntington in two thousand eight. They've never had a flood ball hmm. in sixteen fucking years. So, yeah, it's kind of overdue. I mean, it's because you don't want to have to then respond to like, oh my god, Pittsburgh just got ten inches of rain in twelve hours. And it's coming toward Huntington, and it's going to be here in about a day and a half. And it's looking like it's going to be a 5,000-year flood. So oh boy. we need to put the gates in. And then and at that point, when you've got like three days to get the gates in, that's not when you want to find out, oh, this gate's broke, and that one you can't get it open, and this one's rusted shut. So I'm glad they're finally having this floodgate exercise. 
Yeah. Know. Do you think that's what's coming? That uh, type of weather? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, we've dodged bullet after bullet after bullet. It's just a matter of time until we get that rock'em, sock'em, robot fucking 1937 type flood action down the Ohio River. The one that prompted all the Ohio River communities to get their flood walls to begin with. When the river went, you know, in some places 45 feet above the top of the riverbank. Wow. It's unimaginable. I that's, mean, the pic- I don't know if you've seen depth. pictures of the flood in 1930s. Just nothing but chimney tops, city mm. after city. Two, three story houses completely underwater. The entire fucking city. Unbelievable. Such a catastrophe. They literally went and built thousands and thousands and thousands of miles of levees and walls immediately mm. after that flood. They're like, hey, we can't ever let this happen again. And then they built the flood works and all this great stuff. And then city by city has just let the shit just completely rust and decay. And like, I know a couple cities where the flood wall sections are like teeter tottering. One's leaning this way. One's leaning that way. And I'm just thinking like, well, it'd be a damn shame when the big flood comes and half these cities that had all these defenses built and the, you know, city administrations that have had responsibility over that never fixed it, never maintained it, never gave a fuck. And now their cities are completely fucking wiped out from a catastrophic flood when they had a flood wall. Didn't even fucking maintain it. Um, Tonight's Scrabble word, corruption. Hmm. Corruption. Uh, Play it on a triple word score. That's the Which I, I would imagine... You're on your way to a 400 audience is already score. familiar with that word. Quite familiar. If you live in these here United States, you should know a thing or two about corruption. Well, I, I can oh. say now, uh, thanks to um, Katanji Brown Jackson on the Supreme Court of the United States, yeah, our executive, legislative, and judicial branches are now complete fucking bollocks, as they would say in English. Yeah, total fuckery. The entire government is now composed of 100% fuckery. Pure bollocks. Which I, I believe there was, uh, what was it, in the declaration, I think, where it says that, that once the government becomes complete fuckery, uh, the citizens are allowed to uh, do whatever is necessary. There's something like wow. that. I just read the chat here, and now I'm picturing Kate Middleton as a Komodo dragon. Right. I was just anyway, I was going to bring that up because that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant, Big H. You might be onto something there. I would recommend uh, maybe we can get David Ike to fact check that. And see if Kate Middleton is stuck as a as a half human, half rept- reptilian. Uh, hey Drizzle, have you ever what? did you ever watch that um, show that was on NBC back in the eighties called V? Yeah, of course. Are you kidding? And Everybody like, saw know, they, that, didn't they, they? They would eat the mice. Yeah, they would eat mice, and then like. That one human chick got knocked up by the alien dude and she had the green. Yeah, worm she had the hybrid stuff. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could rip their faces they ended up off making and there like was this, a, um, a fucking scaly skin underneath and they had it was red like eyes. This red this wild mist shit, or something man. that they sprayed. That brunette that was hot. Made all too. The, the aliens die in the end. And we got rid of those fuckers. That's right. Except for the the green worm babies did live because right. they were human hybrids, but it you know but that's how they actually figured it out because it was made from their blood. Uh, but uh, man, that was how many years ago? Was that forty years ago? That's forty years ago, man. Yeah, because uh, that was like eighty four, eighty five, maybe even eighty three. The Television, 1984. Damn. 
Wow. Bonus point for me. I was 10 years old. Wow. Okay. All right. I don't, I can't do share screen. Well, I'll just send you the link. Here we go. For what? Oh, see. For V. Lizard people footage. <laughs> the lizard, the, the lizard, lizard, lizardians, we'll call them. Yeah. Lizardians. Oh, no, wait. That's, that's the Kate article again. Let's see. Oh, we can no. Do that. Yeah, There's... there it is. No, 1983-05-01 V, the original miniseries, debuts on American television. 1983. The visitors arrived in 50 gigantic motherships. This will definitely get us kicked off of YouTube. Great special effects for 1983 NBC help. television. I got to say. Yeah, that was Jonathan. We will gladly share with you all the fruits of our knowledge. Talk about an offer we can't refuse, huh? I wonder what would happen if we did. Manufacturing plants That's around the world their were real skin. to produce chemicals the visitors need for survival on their planet. In the weeks that followed, yeah, the visitors Mark look at him, MacGyver. A friendly part it's Beastmaster. That's right. Uh, I do not. Yeah. And Freddy. A visitor youth organization yep. was formed. And that was Robert England, to join their ranks. The visitors were quickly assimilated into our culture. <laughs> not very good at this. Visitors. Many close relationships developed between our people and theirs. That's right, because humans are horny. That's how we end up with the green worm. And apparently so are disappear. reptilians. And then... The world was shocked today when Nobel Prize winner Dr. Morris Jankowski of the Brussels Biomedical Institute in Belgium held a press conference to reveal the existence of an international conspiracy against the visitors. Jankowski had unshakable proof that a conspiracy of scientists around criminals. the world was about to seize control of visitor ships for their own gain. A groundswell of resentment and prejudice quickly built against the world scientific community. I can't work for you no more. Because my husband is a scientist? Yeah, he wrecked it up, said I was just a dirty little scientist kid. Another biochemist, uh, Phyllis, she didn't show today. Just like Ruth and all the others. There's no truth to those rumors. Shall I stay, then? See you, Daddy. Becoming more deeply suspicious of the visitors, Audie. news cameraman Mike Donovan infiltrated one of the huge motherships and discovered that the visitors had orchestrated the conspiracy themselves so that scientists would be ostracized around the world. There we go. And There's Donovan my girl. Also videotaped another Bang. Startling Look at revelation. those special effects. Eat uh -huh. that fucking man. <laughs> Whoa, visitor people. I'll pull off the skin. Yep, there it is. Son of a bitch, it's tape metal about thing. to be broadcast. Just on. Hey, somebody's pulled AT&T right out from under us. The whole damn network's off the air. Look, we know what's happening. Totalitarian suppression of the truth. Not only on television, but they've got the papers, too. We are under martial law. And paranoia. You've got to be more careful what you say. What, in my own house? But he lives here. You don't really think oh. you call them, do you? You know, like, do you remember when D2 came out? It was a Hebrew visitor, too. Oh, yeah, it was nowhere Robert near Maxwell as good as the original. Unable to yeah, the Israelis land on your uh, have been given nation planet, and Bernstein, next thing you know, they just take over. Of Hitler's death camps. They have to stay. Or else we haven't learned a thing. And the resistance movement has begun. The theft of equipment for a biochemical lab. Yeah, so that was, uh, by that was state of the Julius art for the 1980s, ladies and gentlemen. Was and this is a commercial, folks. This is a three-minute teaser. Oh my God. So you'll watch this mini-series all summer long. Yeah. For Which I did. It came out in summer of 1983. I was nine friends. years old. I'll now, never forget. The conclusion of V. Oh, well, that was actually the... Ah, damn it. That was what they would use to uh, get you up to date on what's been going yep. on. All right, hopefully that gets fixed soon, because that's real fucking annoying.
I like it. It's I don't with me hard. I don't because wow, that would have sucked if that had happened Monday. Yeah, that would have really sucked. I got to figure out why that's doing that. It could be the weed. I've been getting high the whole time. Ah. Uh. Maybe. In fact, I got another bowl pack right now. It's probably just the universe fucking with me. That's probably what it is. Oh, by the way. Oh, holy shit. We've actually been going for almost airplane? two hours, man. Yeah, I know. We're, we're, it's almost we're down over. to the last God eight damn it. minutes. The fastened seatbelt lights uh, have been turned back on. But you can uh, still smoke the We're making the weeds. our That's final right. approach to land. And uh, we're landing at the same airport we took off from 10 minutes ago because we're on a Boeing. Um, they did. It happened again. Did you see that? Wait, another one? Yeah. I missed one? We off, immediately had to turn around and land. Wait, was that engine. the one that the engine caught on fire? Yeah, yeah. Engine, yeah, yeah, yeah. engine issue. I saw yeah, that. Well, the, it was a slight issue because, you know, it caught on fire. It caught on and fire. Other, yeah. Yeah. In the air. They were in the yeah. air, and it That's how you make fire. smoke signals. Right, right. I think that plane was a Native American. Could have been. Making smoke signals. Yeah. I can see that. Blowing big O-rigs right through, the, right through the clouds. So, all right. I looked the other day, because I was, I was sitting here working, and I was thinking, wow, you know, things have been going pretty good for a while. When's the next time Mercury is going to go retrograde? Because that's usually when things start going screwy, right? Uh huh. And it turns out uh, Mercury is retrograde April first through the twenty fifth. Oh, so that's going to that line awesome? up with our super duper solar eclipse. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Oh wow! Oh wow! Might have to get some special K for that. I wonder what Don Lemon's going to do for that. I don't know. Hmm. But it, 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 didn't he get picked up by somewhere else? He's on a different network now. I don't think so. He got kicked off Twitter because he, he got all bitchy with Elon. Yeah, like, and, and speaking how does that of, make any sense, of by the way? I got to give a big shout out to our mutual friend, Ervoya Moyich who is finally getting some well-earned R&R, as we used to say back in my Army days. That would be rest and relaxation mm -hmm. as, uh, as he's been running this uh, marathon with a baton in his hand, apparently for about two solid years. Um, he actually passed the baton to former Red Voice media veteran and former partner with Luke Radowski at We Are Changed, and, um, gosh, all those movies that he made about yeah. 911. Uh, Loose we're change. talking about The Berm, Jason Shade Berman. the Motion Picture, which is a That's fantastic right. documentary, That's by right. the way. Yeah, I saw hey. that. That's crazy. Uh, they also uh, picked up Johnny Vedmore. For yep. uh, folks in the United States, he is on your lunchtime drive time. We're TNT talking about radio. the one and only TNT radio, yeah. radio. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. I, I just so I'm I, guessing, before I forgot, so here's before we got cool to part. the end of the show, I, I did want to give a shout out to Air Boye because man, he was he's really been slogging it out in the trenches for a good two solid years. Oh yeah, and he definitely just with deserved the radio it. program, which is you know as he explained, pretty fucking rigorous, man. Yeah. Well, you try doing uh, 10 interviews a week. Ah, that's like a full-time job. Yeah, and not even, like, not even, like, a good interview, you know, like what we got to do with her voyeur. But you're getting, you're getting, like, 30 minutes with the person to try and get the, the best, uh, basically best sound bites out of them that you possibly can. Good luck. Ima imagine having luck. to interview Norman Finkelstein and only having 30 minutes. You can only ask half of one question. It's, I mean, 
you can do an interview, but it's it's difficult. It's it's better if you have a lot more time to work with. It really is. Tell you what, I know what to do. When you do your interview with Norm, make sure that you ask your questions really slow. <laughs> so as slow as he's that talking. Out. That way, you can run for like 45 minutes or whatever. And then when you're done, you go to post-op, just hit that motherfucker with a 1.5X or a 2X. Boom. Now it's 30 minutes and it's at normal human speed. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think caused Kate to get stuck in reptilian form? Hmm. Well, what was the uh, American chick that's married to the other one? Married to Harry. Markle. Because Kate is with William. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meghan Markle. But Meghan M- Markle, yeah, yeah, is the American chick. Right. And she's already been disowned by the royal. Yeah, they, they hate both of them. So Princess Meghan just no love there and so princess kate was the darling as much as like a princess diana and so it's really strange now um but oh wait a second fuck they killed her man that's what i'm thinking they fucking killed her dude God damn it, here we got like two minutes left. We just figured it out. Well, just, there was just a, in the nick of time. There was a Scooby picture for everybody. Right? There was a picture that was released earlier this week that was grainy uh and and low quality. Uh and it just looked like bullshit. Because it looked like her, but it didn't look anything like her. And it was like, eh, I, what the fuck's going on here? There's, you you think the Downing up. Street and MI5 could do better than that? I mean, don't right? Don't they have Palantir and everything else over there? Come on, right? Come on, man, Bruh. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's it. She's just gone, and they still can't figure out how to how to like release it into the news because again, we're now dealing with retards. Because we're at the third generation and beyond, where these these motherfuckers just ain't and never done nothing. Everything has been handed to them their whole fucking lives, and now they gone done off to princess, and they're old shitting themselves in their pants. Yeah, and they still can't fucking figure it out. Now, which which was the uh, prince that like can't sweat? And so he definitely Randy wasn't banging Andy. the twelve-year-old at Pedophile yeah, Island. That was Prince Andrew. Yes, yes, yeah. Prince Andrew. That's and and mommy was the one that bailed him out, but she ain't here no more. That's right. We got Chuck. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? God save the king. And that's all we got, folks. Where's the dolly? Dog tasty. You go on a little deed Go here, young. Don't I go, honey? See you again soon. Probably next week. 